Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Psycho Gold. This is Psycho Gold Videos. And today we're going to be doing what I said we would do a few weeks ago. We're going to be checking out the latest episode of Death Battle, and that episode is Carnage from Marvel Comics vs. Lucy from Elf and Lied. Now, I must stress I've never watched Elf and Lied, but I have just sat through all of the talking of Death Battle, and uh, I'm not as confident in Carnage taking this fight as I was when I first saw the announcement of the fight. However, I do feel that the people at Death Battle, they had quite a lot of Carnage's stats correct, but I also feel like some of it they weren't quite accurate with. There was an overriding theme of the idea that Carnage is really only comparable to Venom and isn't far superior to Venom. And I'm sorry, but Carnage being better than Venom is pretty much his running theme. It's the main reason he exists. Um, Carnage is essentially Venom 2.0, bigger, faster, stronger, but he's not actually bigger. But, you know, I love Venom. I much prefer Venom to Carnage in terms of which character I think looks better, which character I'd rather see in a series or a film, but Carnage is stronger than Venom, at least for the majority of his comic book run, especially when he was introduced. During his Maximum Carnage run, which they reference in the video, he was nigh on unstoppable rampaging through New York and he effortlessly defeated quite a few of New York's finest heroes including Spider-Man and Venom. Now, yes, Venom and Spider-Man have both defeated Carnage separately, but there are, that's not the same thing as them being stronger than him in terms of pure stats, so I think that it, this is set up for Lucy to win and they did that thing they do where they went into intricate levels of detail to explain how uh, Lucy's weird invisible hands work um, and they didn't do that with Carnage's tentacles or any of his powers which makes me think a bit like when we watched the Samurai Jack vs Afro Samurai episode I kinda got the impression that they were bracing the audience for when they're gonna explain why um, something is going to happen that uh, we're not going to necessarily agree with or like in terms of Marvel fans. But I'm also very aware of the fact that I was actually wrong last time and Samurai Jack still managed to win, despite the fact I thought they were setting up an Afro Samurai victory. So I don't know who's going to win. Either way, I'm sure the battle itself is going to be really interesting. I'm very interested to see what the art style of the fight is going to be like. So without further ado, I think it's time for a death battle. Three, two, one, go. Oh, we're back to... Oh! Oh, okay, this is a mix animation. It looked like sprite work to begin with, but... It's a mix of sprites and hand-drawn. Oh, I think I know who's on that train. <laughs> Okay. Oh, he looks so good, hand drawn, mind. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that won't be enough to kill Carnage, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. This fight is seeming pretty one-sided at the minute. Uh. <laughs> this is just like the endurance test of Carnage at this point. Oh, is he gonna try and out? What's he trying to do? Oh! Okay, he was getting a lot closer those times, though. <laughs> oh, some of his attacks are getting through! Okay. Oh. Here come those invisible arms. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. See, the thing here is... It's rain. You're bleeding. Come, it's just time. <laughs> yes! They've nailed Carnage's personality, even if he loses, man. This is brilliant. Um... See, she's very, very powerful, but I don't actually know how she intends to kill Carnage. <laughs> All she's got is explosions and blades, which he can just survive with, and eventually he's going to wear her out. Unless she does something with fire. But I don't think she can do anything with fire. <laughs> Ah, that explosion had fire in it, though. Was that it? Oh! Okay, that was it. First those kids at the orphanage, then Cletus. Lucy really hates dog killers, and for good reason. Okay. So I guess we get to find out who's next, then. And if you enjoyed the fight, you can get... Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, this could be an interesting one. Damn! Prime versus Gundam. That's going to be a good one. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was the latest installment of Death Battle. For a change, I actually changed my mind and agreed with them that I do think, having seen the fight and having seen the stats both pre fight and post fight, yeah. I do actually think that Lucy has the capabilities to take Carnage down. I didn't, but seeing that she could, you know, it was mostly because of the manga pages that she was basically able to outclass Carnage in terms of her raw power, even though they themselves said that Carnage regeneration, he could essentially just take anything that she threw at him, but she always had that option of essentially going nuclear, and the heat from that blast would probably vaporize him, and unfortunately, I do have to agree with that, symbiotes have no defense against fire. Apart from the fact that Carnage actually does, which they themselves said, which is that he traded in his fire weakness for some weird deal with Cthulhu magic stuff. But I'm going to assume that they just decided to ignore that for the same reason that I'm going to ignore that, which is that that was just weird and made no sense. Overall, I still really enjoyed it. I think the people that were... Uh, channeling Carnage's personality did a great job. I can't comment on if Lucy was accurate. She seemed to be accurate from the scenes I saw in the video beforehand, but as I've never watched Elfin lead, as uh, like they kept saying in the show, then uh, I can't really offer comment. I was mostly there for Carnage. Um, always been a big fan of the symbiotes, so... Yeah, I'm bummed that Carnage lost, but at the same time, I do actually think in this particular instance that the correct fighter won. And not because of all the ridiculous facts that they come up with about how fast her tendrils moved either. It is purely down to the fact that she can create a nuclear explosion um, and that much heat will wipe them, them out. That All that other stuff about the tendril length and the tendril speed and all that stuff, nah. I don't care about any of that. That stuff, I... There's a difference between facts and what an artist will draw to make something look cool. Which is one of the biggest annoyances I have when they do stuff like, say, oh, I don't know, Goku versus Superman. <laughs> the distance between frames on a drawing, as someone who did animation, I pretty much guarantee you are not to scale. <laughs> they were not drawn with the foresight that someone might come along and measure them, try to put them to a scale to decide how fast a character was going. They are just recycled frames to speed up animation. There is literally no point in trying to give characters like this real world laws, which is my one and only problem with Death Battle, but that doesn't mean I don't enjoy the videos and it doesn't mean I don't enjoy them for pure entertainment value, but unlike a lot of people, I don't actually take their word as gospel. So many people seem to think that what Death Battle says is 100% and that no one could ever argue back with them. But literally guys, if you have a Death Battle video that you think had the incorrect outcome, do a search on YouTube. I guarantee you that there will be several videos explaining why Death Battle were wrong. Some YouTubers are very good at it. Some YouTubers are even quite successful at it. So go forth and conquer.
But that's going to be it from me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of this fight. Did you think that Lucy was going to win from the word go? Or were you with me in thinking that Carnage was going to uh, actually be a bit more of a threat than he really turned out to be? Um, either way, I'd love to hear from you guys. If you're new around here, click subscribe. We do random videos like this from across the internet. So alongside all the anime stuff and the reviews that will be coming to the channel soon, we will also be checking out the cool stuff that's going around YouTube and anything else that you guys recommend to me, which is something that I haven't said in a while. If there is anything out there on the internet that you would like to see me react to, or if there's anything out there that you think is cool and would like to know my thoughts on, please leave it down below in the comments section, or if you prefer, you can tweet them at me. I am Psycho Gold Gaming over on Twitter. But that's going to be it from me, guys, for now. I am Psycho Gold, and I will see you in my next video. Psycho Gold, out.